All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what if I gave you a problem like this, which actually your homework contains problems like this. So before you guys like freak out and be like, whoa, we didn't do anything crazy like this. Well, let's try to simplify using I. And that's why you're probably, you know, one of the questions you're asking, like, why would we use I, right? Well, we can do this math with radicals. There's nothing wrong with that. However, if we rewrite this in terms of I, would you guys agree it kind of makes the problem a little bit more easier to work with, and a little bit easier to understand? You can do everything with radicals. That's fine. But if you rewrite these negatives using i, then it's kind of like multiplying polynomials again, which I think is a little bit easier for a lot of you guys to like visualize. So would you guys agree with me that this is 4i? Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of negative 1 is i. I'm just not breaking it apart because I'm trying to move on a little bit. OK, I'll write you one in just a second. This would be 2i. Actually, could you write it and then I'll sign it? Just take one of those sheets of paper right there. OK, does everybody see that, what I did? If you don't, please let me know. OK, now you could use the box method, which I prefer, or you could just use FOIL. OK, 4i times 2i is 8i squared. Ooh, crap, I forgot to teach this first. Um, 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i. Negative 4 times 4i is going to be a negative 4i. And then two, negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 2. OK. Now, can you do negative 4i minus 4i? If you owe me $4, can you borrow $4 more from me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you now owe me $8. Now, I didn't explain this to you. This won't make sense, but just write it down, and I'll, teach, and I'll say it, and I'll explain it to you in just a second. i squared, where i represents the square root of negative 1, i squared re represents negative 1. I'll explain it right after this video. But every single time you have i squared, you're going to replace it with negative 1. I will explain in just a second. OK. So your final answer would be negative 6 minus 8i. Now, there's two things that I need to finish up this class with, and I have about two minutes.